Algae is the worst, green, slimy, and gross, but one day it might power the world. Hey guys, Julia here for DNews. One of the biggest challenges of the 21st century is how we power our societies. So as we slowly deplete the world's store of fossil fuels, scientists are searching for something a bit more renewable. Biofuels show a lot of promise. We could reduce the amount of greenhouse gas emissions while reducing our dependence on foreign oil. And for me, the most exciting thing is there's so much variety in the way we can make energy from plants or the waste they produce. And it'll be a lot faster than the geological processes that can take millions and millions of years to make fossil fuels. You might be most familiar with ethanol. It's pretty popular. A lot of gas today is made up of 10% of the stuff to cut down on octane and greenhouse gas emissions. So where does it come from? Ethanol could be made from any biomass high in carbohydrates. Most of the ethanol used today is made from corn. But it's not like the corn is burned directly. The starches and sugars in the corn are actually fermented first, just like brewing a beer, producing ethanol but not alcohol. But there's some concern that using corn for fuel might take away from food production and harm food prices worldwide. So what other plants could we use? Unfortunately, not all plants can easily make ethanol. The cellulose in a lot of plants is protected by a sheath of lignin and hemicellulose. These prevent it from being able to produce a lot of ethanol, but scientists are working on it. Scientists have recently turned their attention to switchgrass as a possible biofuel. It's a pretty hardy plant that can grow on land that's too tough for farming. But the plant's not ideal, yet. Researchers are working on creating a strain that produces more biomass, according to a study published in the journal Crop Science. They're also working on a strain that produces less lignin, so more of that biomass is available for use as fuel. Other plants like soybean or even algae can produce oils that can be burned as fuel. Yeah, soybeans, like the stuff they make into tofu, can also run your truck. Soybeans are about 18% oil and 38% protein, so sometimes that protein goes to tofu and that oil is often sold for use in cooking. But sometimes it can be made into fuel. In a process called transesterification, the glycerin is removed from the oil, leaving soy biodiesel. That biodiesel can be mixed with regular diesel or can power a truck on its own. Fuel made from 100% biodiesel is not surprisingly called B100. While it could be great, growing soybeans takes up a lot of land. One biofuels expert says it would take an area half the size of the U.S. to grow enough soybeans to replace petroleum. On the other hand, algae might prove to be a much smaller solution. The energy department says it would require only 15,000 square miles a few thousand miles larger than Maryland. Yeah, algae, that nasty stuff that grows in your unused pool in your backyard, could be fuel. But this isn't a new thing. Research really kicked off in the 1970s during an energy crisis when oil prices skyrocketed. After prices settled back down a bit, a lot of people lost interest. Algae produces oily lipids and gases, both of which can be burned as fuel. But just because algae grows nearly everywhere doesn't mean it's easy to grow. Some strains produce more lipids than others, and like I said, it grows everywhere, so sometimes strains get polluted by less oily kinds, and it can take a while to grow. But scientists at the U.S. Department of Energy's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory are on the case. They created a super cooker to superheat algae and water and produce oil in about half an hour. And if cranked up to a large-scale production, it might be able to fuel the future at prices as low as two bucks a gallon. But more research is needed. Speaking of powering the world with algae, there's a whole building in Germany that runs on it. Trace gets a scoop right here in this episode. Algae tanks bubble with activity throughout the day and also provide shade from the sun for the residents. Occasionally, excess algae is gathered and converted directly into biomass for even more energy. So how do you feel that plants might one day rule the road? Let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back here. We've got new episodes every day of the week.